Long before the big game, you might be gaining a supersized waistline from all those holiday meals, but there is a new trend in weight loss. It's called alternate day fasting. Krista Verade is the author of The Every Other Day Diet. She's an associate professor of nutrition at the University of Illinois in Chicago, and she joins us at the table. Hey, Krista. Hey, great because to be here. Morning. We've always heard diets don't work, diets don't work, diets don't work, and you say, yeah, that's true, they don't work because you're doing it every day. Exactly. If you and do so, it every other day, it's different. And so why, what makes this more than just a catchy title or a gimmick? Okay, well, first I'll just explain what the diet is. Um, so the diet involves something that we call a feast day, where you can truly eat whatever you want, and that's alternated with something called a diet day, where you eat 500 calories as either a lunch or a dinner. And the reason that it works is because people can stick to it for a pretty long time, and they stick to it because it's a diet that lets you feel normal mm -hmm. every other day. Whereas with most diets, you, you're always deprived. You always have to count calories or your carbs or whatever it is. But with this diet, Diet, you get to feel like a normal person and go back to your normal routine but every I've other day. I've heard though, that when you diet, the worst thing you can do is get off of it and eat all you want. It's so counterintuitive to everything we've been told. That's true, it is. It's kind of, it's a bit, yeah, that's true, it's different. But we've done, I've done eight to ten years of studies now in mice and in humans, and um, we've shown repeatedly that people lose 12 pounds in four weeks. We, we show reductions in cholesterol, blood pressure, blood sugar, insulin. We also show that, yeah, people stick to it for a long time. We had a, a one-year study funded by um, National Institutes of Health. So it's, um, we've shown it in repeated studies that it does work. People stick to it, and they get all these health benefits. But isn't the key not to lose that weight quickly? It's to lose it consistently and then to keep yeah, it off? Absolutely. And if, and if you're going 500 calories on the fasting days, mm -hmm. is that Which enough? Is two power bars, it, it, by it the way. It seems like too little. <laughs> Yeah. It does seem like too little. However, you are eating whatever you want every other day. So if you were, I can understand your concern, because if you're eating 500 calories every day, um, then yeah, that would be too mm -hmm. little. But with the every other day, basically, people are kind of making up for that. One thing I do want to point out is people do not binge on that, um, what we call the feast day. And the reason that they don't do that is what we think is happening is the stomach is shrinking slowly, basically, as you have the alternate um, diet days. And then when you sit down to eat that meal, maybe some big meal that you're used to eating, you actually don't, you don't binge on that because the stomach has shrunk and it won't allow you to um, basically fully compensate for the lack of food. One of the things you said um, caught my ear when you said you can feel normal every other day. Mm -hmm. Isn't it better to feel normal every day and, and teach a pattern of healthy eating and exercise every day? There's no doubt there will be days we mm -hmm. eat more on one day than the other because we've got a big dinner or, you know, a lunch party mm -hmm. or whatever. But I'm worried about this idea that there's some gimmick, I think was the word, Gil, that you used. Why not teach a consistent philosophy of eating healthy mm -hmm. day in and day out and exercising daily? Yeah, we definitely, we also incorporate exercise into this. Um, Which you say is better in the morning. Exercise is better yeah, in the morning. Yeah, so then. we, um, to touch on that, we say exercise is better in the morning because once you exercise, most people don't feel hungry for about half an hour, and then people get this hunger surge about 40 minutes post-exercise. Mm -hmm. So we usually tell people to basically eat before that um, fast day meal. But you um, are a nutritionist, and I mean, I have to say on your book, I mean, you've got this donut with the sprinkles and this yeah. pepperoni pizza. That's not something you recommend that we should be eating. I don't, I'm definitely not recommending that you should do that, but we're just trying to get at the fact that you can basically eat things that also make you happy. Because if you tell people to completely restrict themselves, they're just going to binge on that stuff anyway. So we're showing that you can have anything in moderation and that you don't have to basically just stick to counting carbs and that type of thing. Um, but we are, this is a pattern that, that really does work for some people. I'm definitely, you know, it's, it's another viable option for weight loss. Yeah. I know people that have stuck to this for eight years. We also outline a weight maintenance plan mm -hmm. in our book. Mm -hmm. So you can lose the weight and then, you know, a lot of diet books don't even address what do you do once you lost the weight. I so, think everybody knows who struggled with weight. You've got to put down your fork and get on the treadmill. But it's always good to find, <laughs> find a program that works for you. Yeah, and you're just exactly. saying this is another alternative It's another alternative. Okay. That could exactly. be a book right there. Put yeah, down the put fork down and get on the treadmill. Get your butt on the treadmill. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> best seller. Thank you, Krista Verde. <laughs> <laughs> the Every Other Day Diet goes on sale on Tuesday, but you can read an excerpt right now at CBSThisMorning.com.